Hey YouTubers, Electric Adventures here with a little update video on my Attack from Mars 1UP Pinball. Um, there has been a firmware released for it, so this is... I haven't done the firmware update yet. I just thought I'd talk about what they've changed before we get too carried away. So there was a double initial entry bug has been fixed on all tables. Not 100% sure what that one is. There will be now be an option to calibrate the accelerometer in the options, so we'll have a look at that after we do the update. A game over indicator has been implemented on the main screen. I suppose that indicates that you've just played a game and it's game over. Uh, knocking echo sounds that caused by false nudge effects have been fixed. So the junkyard table Where are we? There it is, junkyard table, which I will say I haven't played very much. Um, so there's an issue with the plunger. Um, fixed an issue where the player was unable to make ramp shots. Probably why I haven't played that one very much, because I wasn't having fun with it. Um, the other one is No Good Gopher. Let's bring up the screen, so... Which is good fun. Table played that one for real. Soft launch from Plunger was too hard to achieve, has been corrected. Low frame rates and a performance issue that caused low frame rates have been fixed. So that one obviously had low frame rates as well. Um, Tales of Arabian Nights, which I really enjoy. Um, fixed the flipper strength and fixed the multi-ball bug. Okay. And white water lag issue. That was the table that was virtually unplayable. There it is, sorry. Virtually unplayable. Um, performance has been optimized for remitting and lagging issues. Okay, so, I mean... The only one I'll demonstrate is I'll just launch white water. I really have not played this at all because I remember firing it up and it really is noticeably laggy. So, um, but I, I didn't actually know that No Good Gopher had the same problem. So, and this is a really good table um, in the real world. So, even. I don't know whether it was noticeable that there was there was jitter in the ball, even in, in that little bit there. So there's quite. I mean, I'm, I'm by the way, I'm, I'm around the camera here at the moment. That's my excuse. I'm sticking, and I haven't really played this table for. And we're having all this. Um, seem to be extra sounds and things. Yeah, anyway, it's only a quick demonstration just so we can do a before and then we can do an after. So that should be the end of that game. It does seem to make all these extra echoing sounds that are way after the effect too, so... Interesting. Well, I'll go through the procedure. I'm not going to show you uh, doing the procedure because the video One Up Arcade have made is actually really good, and I'll link that down below. It's a really good set of instructions. Um, you've only got to <coughs> take off the back panel of the machine and turn a switch so it's in flash mode, and plug your USB cable in that end. Load some software up on the PC, and then turn the um, uh, unit on, and um, and follow the procedure. So it's, it's fairly simple to follow. And, and most people should be able to do it, but so what I'll do, I will do it, and then we'll come back and we'll have a look at the difference. Alright, <coughs> here we go, here's the machine coming up after the update. I'll take it and reset your settings too. Okay. Setting. So we have our music volume. Let's turn that down a little bit. Um, so the plunger calibration now and nudge sensitivity. So there is an option there. Ball fails on, I don't really like that. The solenoids are on. Oh. 
Um, yeah, it's still a bit loud. I'll leave it that's better. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so let's try white water. Game in. Okay, we're already not having that knocking sound. So, and of course, our drain straight away. Once again, I'm playing over the camera, that's my excuse, so I'm going to stick to it. It doesn't seem to be jittering when it's down near the um oh. <coughs> helps if you can, you know, actually play the game. That was far too short a test. Okay, oh I see, so now you get a game over screen and it locks it for a little bit. That's what they meant by that. That's what they meant. Okay, that's fair enough. So you can see your, the table and, and your score a little bit. Oops, no. Once again, I really haven't played this table at all, except for the real one. And that was a little while ago. Yep. Obviously, you haven't played this table enough to know the timings. Silly. <clears throat> but it, I mean, I'll have to play it some more to really tell, but at least this seems playable now. Nah. Oh, I don't know how to get the timing on that left ring, but obviously. Well, there we go. So that does seem to be improved. And there aren't all these random knocking sounds coming all the time too, like when we first tried it. <clears throat> we get the game over for a little while, so you can see the screen. So we'll go back to main menu. Now let's have a look at No Good Gover. I know we didn't play this beforehand, but... There's another table I haven't played very much. I played a physical, actually last time at the same place that I played <coughs> the white water. Okay, we'll call that luck. <laughs> I said we're not going to set the world on fire of any schools in this practice run. Man, I drank. This one's on us. Take it all. Mm. 
I'm sorry, I probably needed to turn the SF volume down a bit. Okay, I'm just going to let this drain so we can go and have a look at the other one. But I didn't see any uh, jittering or, um, or slow down. So the other fixes were in the ramp shop in Arabian Nights. <coughs> okay. Now I'm just going to go into setting settings again. Get rid of the. Not really into that. Let's take that down so I'm not deafening you guys. Now, oh, let's change the order of the games. That's going to mess up my brain. There we go. So I have actually been quite enjoying playing this one. And the recent pin crawl that I went on actually had a physical version of this table. Unfortunately, one guy was playing it for so long, and it was our last uh, stop before it had to drive back to Hobart. I never got to play it, so hopefully I'll get to go back there. I am your I'm starting to quite like this table. Flying horse. Go for the gold. Great shot. So I said the multi to the multiple. I'm not going to guarantee I'm going to get the multiple. Oh, this time that. 
play some of the games more to get the fixes but it's definitely fixed those two titles that were probably fairly unplayable the white water was obviously the most unplayable so much so that I just I haven't played a game since I first got it um, so it's very good they've released an update and the update process wasn't too bad um, I only had to remove the one panel off the back put a cable in and flick a switch and run some software on a PC I do note that software tried to call home a couple of times, but I had software on there that blocked that, so um, do be mindful of that. Have your um, your guard software turned on when you do it. Alright, um, I'm Electric Adventures. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>